Okay, good. I love it. Well, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome in and welcome back also. So today uh, we're excited to do this call uh, together, which this is call two of our uh, Sacred Light Healing Series. That is uh, seven weeks um, healing journey uh, here where we're focusing in on you know, different uh, areas of life uh, to bring healing to and really focusing in on the Sacred Light Healing Tools to do this work. And I believe most of you here are familiar enough with our work to know that when we say sacred light healing tools, we're talking about the healing modality that Alicia and I have created together, which contains the foundational tools that are part of um, sacred soul alignment as well as energetic allergy healing. So um, sacred light healing is uh, ha holds a lot of special meaning to both Alicia and I but it's also uh, really powerful. It contains the sort of uh, energies and, um, you know, of both of us and through our own, you know, unique uh, source connections, right? Which we all have our own unique uh, source connection or um, sort of conduit or channel, right? But when we bring that together, uh, we have, really uh, exponential uh, healing and transformation. So we love it when we get to focus in on sacred light healing tools and um, the also the technologies that uh, have become a really a special and, and integral part of sacred light as well. So today we're bringing all of that sacred light goodness to focus in on ancestral and past life trauma. So this would, our second call here is ancestral and past life trauma healing edition. So uh, we are going to do our healing work together and we're going to be doing it within the container, the healing container, sacred container that we created together and, you know, really set up on our first call last Wednesday. So we're everything we're going to be doing over these seven weeks, we're going to be working within that container for amplified effect. And you are all a part of the that contribution of that amplified um, healing and effect for everyone. So and if you weren't here last week, that's okay. You will still be bringing you into that container um, through our intention, but we do invite you to go back and listen to that call if you missed it. Um, you can find it in our Facebook group. It's under the guides at the top of the group. Um, just click on the guides and it's in the first one. All of these calls in this series will be in that guide. Um, it's also on my YouTube channel. We don't have our own co-creating channel yet. So you can look for me, Alicia Hartzell, um, on YouTube, and it's you can find it under the live tab on YouTube. Yes. And we, we will also be doing our best to send out replays um, if you're part of our email community as well. So you're going to, you may also have seen that um, come into your email uh, last week as well. So lots of different ways to participate and um you know, with us here in the seven week healing journey, um, as well as for some of you, that participation means replays, you know, needing those because you can't make the live times. Um, so lots of different ways to grab all of that and, uh, and you know, you can be in the momentum um, as we're working through these uh, weeks together. So we're going to do the healing work today first. So last week, you guys, listened to us share a lot about our upcoming sacred light um healing retreat in tulum that's happening in april and since we hadn't got to talk about it for a while with the holidays and courses that her alicia and i were both you know wrapping up and teaching and there's a lot going on so we wanted to you know really just make sure everyone's aware that this is happening have that invitation um to you um if that's, if the retreat is calling you. So we spent quite a bit of time talking about that. So also if you're interested in that, you may wanna hear more um, from that first call as well. But 
Today, we're going to do this in reverse. We're going to do all the healing work first. Those of you who are wanting to learn more and see more about the Tulum Retreat, we invite you to stay on with us after the healing. And we have some pretty fun and exciting things to share about that today. We booked a very, very special day that is packed full of some amazing, powerful, sacred rituals on, on sacred land in a special place. And we're going to be sharing videos and share more about that with you at the end. So, and also we're not, we're going to also share the sort of symbolism uh, or symbolic nature of the rituals that we're going to be, that are going to be part of our retreat and also the benefits to these rituals. So also, if you don't know a lot about fire ceremonies, cacao ceremonies, sound healings, you might want to stay on and just learn about that as well. Um, and the things that we're going to share with you there. So that all said, let's dive into healing, clearing, ancestral and past life trauma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just those of you who are familiar with our work, um, and that means the sacred light modality, energetic allergy healing and sacred soul alignment and now sacred soul symbols. We are doing this type of work with every single tool that we've created. It's always clearing on these levels on past life trauma, past life, whatever needs to be cleared and throughout our ancestral lines. But we're really focusing in on some specific types of trauma that many of us are holding today and really focusing our intention on those areas of our where we're holding these things. Good. So two of the tools that we're going to be working with several of the sacred light level one healing tools, also some sacred light level two, and I think maybe there might be something in there from level three as well today, um, but we would like to, we're going, we're going to share a little bit about the sacred light belief healing tool and the sacred light intention download healing tool. We have some specific work that we're going to be doing with those today. So for those of you that aren't familiar with those, Alicia, did you want to share a little bit about the sacred light belief healing and the sacred light intention download healing? Sure. Let me get to that part of our document. So um, th these two tools are from Sacred Light Level 1. Um, there are six really, um, really important healing tools that are part of Sacred Light Level 1. And these are the foundational tools. Um, in fact, we used to call this Sacred Light Foundations, but we felt that that name was a little bit deceptive because it kind of gave the, the feeling like that they're entry level tools when they're actually very deep, deep healing tools that we have built the foundations, which is why we call it sacred light foundations, but they are the foundations of everything else that we've created. Um, we have built all of our modalities based on beginning with um, these six healing tools. So we're going to be kind of highlighting two of those today and using the sacred light belief healing. Um, this is a healing tool that's dissolving the beliefs themselves and the other limiting energies that may be supporting or connected to the beliefs that are being cleared, such as thought forms, emotions, shock, and trauma. It's also resolving any oath vows and contracts that are holding these belief patterns in place including curse energies, um, dark magic, shadow fragments, any other energy or energy pattern that's holding a frequency that's less than love, including entities or implants that may be connected to or supporting these beliefs. It goes really deep into clearing all of this from all lifetimes, timelines, dimensions, reality is in between time on all levels, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional, and from all parts and aspects of ourself, where we have been limited by these patterns, going all the way back to the point of origin or where, where these patterns were created. It's clearing from the DNA, from the ancestral lines, from every cell of the body, from all parts and aspects of our being. Um, it's also re resolving and reweaving all of this from within the Akashic records or the soul records and replacing all of that that has been dissolved 
with God or creator's unconditional love. Um, this is a tool that we created about a decade ago, and it's received many, many, many upgrades. In fact, we are currently upgrading all of these tools um, right now with some of the new things that have come in for us in the last year. And we're actually going to be teaching Sacred Light Level 1 live in a few weeks, which we haven't done for, I think, about three years now. Um, and then we're going to be using today the Sacred Light Intention Download Healing. Um, this is downloading or installing new positive beliefs on all levels. So on the emotional level, spiritual, mental, and physical level within the DNA, into every cell of the body, into all parts and aspects of our being, and bringing in um, not only as a new belief, but also as a feeling, which is a really crucial part of our creation process. If we don't know what something feels like, basically, it can be impossible to bring in the new desired belief or experience into our reality. So not only does this healing tool install new beliefs, it's also downloading a feeling. And it doesn't stop there. It downloads what it feels like to be safe, worthy, that we have permission to, that it's possible, and that we know how to, and that we are literally already living this way now. And it brings it all into the present moment. It's downloading, installing, and activating the new belief or feeling on all levels of our being. Um, the, the four body system, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional, our DNA, again, every cell of the body into our nervous system, which is a really, really important part of healing, um, into our energy bodies and our magnetic fields through all timelines, dimensions, and realities. And it's also downloading or installing creator or God or sources, understanding, definition, and perspective of what's being downloaded, the new belief or feeling, and basically matching ours, making ours the same so that we have that higher perspective and that higher, we're able to hold that higher frequency. This process literally creates new neural pathways in the brain, which helps us find and create these new experiences that reflect our new positive beliefs and feelings. And it's also reweaving all of this into the Akashic records or the soul records. So these are these are potent healing tools that we we actually don't talk about as much as sometimes we do some of the other things that we're doing. Yeah, that's true. But they're going to be a big part of what we're doing today within our um, sacred container and our, our work with specifically with this um, with ancestral and past life trauma. All right. So you guys ready for the healing? We're going to guide you into a kind of a shortened connection meditation. I'm going to guide that today with the heart of creation. Then we're going to do some of this belief work. And we're going to run a few healing tools, two of them from Sacred Light Level 2, um, the Genocide Disconnect Healing and the Babylon Template Healing, and a healing tool from Level 3 uh, called the Free Will Universe. And um, Kim, do you want to record this? Yeah. The healing yeah. stuff. Let me do that now. And here we go. All right. Good. So this is our call number two, focused on ancestral and past life healing. So just taking a moment to get comfortable really pulling your energy and your awareness into the present moment, closing your eyes, allowing yourself to land right here, right now, allowing your body to relax, and just placing your focus and awareness onto your heart, and just breathe, allowing your breath to slow and deepen, Breathing as if you're breathing directly from your heart, allowing your inhale and exhale to slow to about a count of five. And just continuing this long, slow, deep breath through your heart, 
as you bring your awareness to the energy of compassion. We invite you to see, sense, feel, or imagine the energy of compassion as a beautiful pink light surrounding you. And as you breathe through your heart, just using your intention to breathe that pink light of compassion into your heart, allowing this energy to fill and expand your heart. And with your next inhale, allowing this energy of compassion to expand into every cell of your body, feeling all of the cells of your body vibrating with the frequency of compassion. And with your focus and awareness on your heart, feeling into the heart to heart connection between your heart and the heart of Gaia and your heart and the heart of creation. Noticing the beautiful golden light in the heart of Gaia and the glorious iridescent light in the heart of creation. And as you breathe, simultaneously begin to breathe this golden light from Gaia and the iridescent light from the heart of creation into your heart. Allowing these lights to merge with the pink light of compassion, creating a beautiful iridescent rose gold light. Allowing this light to expand your heart even more. And with your next inhale, allowing this light to fill all the cells of your body, expanding beyond your physical body, going 12 feet out in all directions, filling your entire energy field, creating a beautiful iridescent rose gold ball of light that you are in the center of. And just taking a moment here to notice how loved nurtured, safe, and protected you are in this space. And as you continue breathing through your heart, imagining the beautiful iridescent light flowing down from the heart of creation, connecting you with the energy of all that is, allowing this energy to move through your entire field, your chakra column, and traveling all the way down into the heart of Gaia. Imagining the beautiful golden light from the heart of Gaia flowing up, connecting you with the infinite wisdom, wealth, knowledge, and abundance that Gaia holds, coming all the way up and traveling all the way up into the heart of creation. And as these energies flow in, through, and around you, witnessing the beautiful ball of light that you are in, expanding with every breath you take. Good, and now we invite you to feel into the heart-to-heart -heart connection between your human aspect and your divine aspect, the highest aspect of your soul that you can connect with that's guiding you through your human experience. With your next breath, allowing your human aspect to merge with your divine aspect. And as you merge with your divine aspect, feeling yourself expanding into all of this light surrounding you, feeling yourself expanding infinitely, all the way to the heart of creation, all the way into the quantum field where all potential and possibility exist. And as we move into this healing, just staying in your heart, breathing through your heart, connected to the energy of all that is, just breathe and allow yourself to expand into the energy of all potential and possibility. Good. And we're going to call in sacred light open here in divine love and light. This is a tool that activates several technologies and really helps open you up to the healing that's to come. Good. And now whether you were here with us last week or not, just allowing yourself to connect with the container that we created last week. And if you weren't here, just allowing your energy and your awareness to be drawn into this container. We've set this up for the, the healing sessions that we're doing for these seven weeks together. 
I'm just feeling the love and the support here for you. And you may even feel your ancestors joining you as they're desiring to receive this healing as well. And you may be even other aspects of yourself from other soul incarnations. Good. All right, Kim's going to get us started with some of this healing. Excellent. So we are going to start the work that we're doing here today to clear blocks that we may have and often do have um, to even just um, identifying or recognizing um, and having permission or knowing how to even clear these types of trauma patterns, you know, from our energy bodies and our physical body. So ancestral trauma, um, past life trauma, or also when I, when we think of past life trauma, you, you, we also think soul level trauma. Soul level trauma is so important to work with when we're on our mission, our journey of healing. Because, you know, when we look at soul level, we're looking at uh, trauma that's been accumulating from incarnation after incarnation. So that's, so, you know, past life, you know, soul level trauma. So there's the connection there, um, which tends to often be part of our really more deeply seated core wounds that we're here to work through in this lifetime, but they can be the ones that maybe take us the longest to fully resolve, right? Um, they're so layered and complex and we've been carrying them for lifetimes. So we're, we're, going, to, we're going to start there today. And so I'm gonna dive right in here with some belief work, uh, Oathbound contract work, um, also, the tools we're working with, as you know, are also working with clearing trauma. So we're also getting started right here, right now with clearing trauma. And then we're going to bring in some downloads to help us shift into uh, a greater ability to uh, do this type of clearing and healing work um, on, um, on that soul level and these ancestral type uh, trauma patterns to clearing those out. So um, so in Divine Love and Light, uh, run the Sacred Light Belief Healing, Sacred Light Oath Vow and Contract Healing, Sacred Light Entity Implant and Portal Healing, and the Sacred Light Purification, all to resolve and dissolve anywhere you don't have permission to, you're not allowed to, or you don't know how to heal past life wounds, past life trauma, soul level trauma. Um and all uh, trauma from all experiences, uh, those, those trauma type experiences and all connected or uh, connected trapped or stored emotions like fear, guilt, and unworthiness. And we're also clearing all oaths, vows, and contracts to live this way, believe this way, or feel this way. If you're gonna start right there, clearing all of that now in divine love and light, creator, change it. Good. And um, using the same tools here in Divine Love and Light to resolve, dissolve, clear anywhere you don't have permission, again, or you're not allowed to for any, any reason. Um, also, as we do this work, we're clearing anywhere we're not safe to, so that we're working on many different aspects here. Um, anywhere we don't have permission, anywhere where it's not safe, anywhere we don't know how. Um, clearing all of this. Um, anywhere we don't have that permission or, or don't feel safe or don't know how to clear and uh, trauma from our ancestral line, our ancestral ancestral lines, actually. Okay, and all connected, trapped or stored emotions, again, like fear, guilt, and unworthiness, and all oaths, vows, and contracts to live this way, believe this way, and feel this way. So this work is a, sort of a general 
working with those ancestral lineage lineages here. So in divine love and light, create or change it. And we're going to take that deeper here and more specific. So anywhere we don't have um, permission, don't know how to heal trauma from our mother's lineage. And again, we're working to clear all connected, trapped or stored emotions, um, all espousing contracts in place to live this way, believe this way or feel this way, kind of keeping us, you know, bound to these patterns and, and, and creating these experiences. Okay, and we're going to also clear anywhere you don't have permission or don't know how to heal trauma from specifically from your father's lineage. And again, all connected, trapped, restored emotions, all oaths, and contracts to live this way, believe this way, or feel this way. So clearing all of that now. Do I love a light creator? Change it. Good. Now we're going to bring in some downloads to help to really anchor all of that sort of belief and trauma, oath-bound contract work, to really anchor it in and also to create accelerated shifts in this area for you. So we're going to download what it feels like and that you know how to, you have permission, you're safe to, um, you're allowed to, um, it's possible, and bring it all into the present moment that you already are living this way now. Okay, so what it feels like to heal, clear, release, transmute, and transform all forms of trauma that you're holding, including, of course, past life trauma, soul level trauma, ancestral genetic level trauma, and all connected programming and emotions, right? These negative, low vibrational um, belief systems and emotions. Okay, so um, bringing in this download now, divine love and light. Oh, using the sacred light intention download healing, create or change it. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to um, also work with these tools here to clear confusion and trauma from past life experiences where some specific things may have happened. Okay, these are common things that happen when we're experiencing trauma. Um, so we're gonna clear confusion and trauma from past life experiences where we, where we separated, divided, enslaved, deceived, um, including designs and plans to steal or hijack individual and or collective power, knowledge and understanding, um, and or to control humanity. So we're working with these patterns of separation, division, enslavement, deception, and clearing all of this out. And this is working with anywhere we've been sort of a victim of these types of experiences or been the perpetrator, you know, on these sort of <laughs> abuse event, right? So kind of the abused and the abuser. So we're clearing all of this out here now. Divine love and light, creator, change it. Okay, good. And we're going to also work with these same tools and divine love and light to clear, dissolve and resolve any uh, trauma from lost knowledge, lost thoughts, loss of personal power or sovereignty, trauma from being separated from our loved ones, our communities, our, um, due to confusion, scrambling of language, words, or thoughts, um, again, um, from different methods of control, forms of control, uh, that have been inflicted on us and our different uh, human experiences here on this planet. So clearing all of this out here now. All trauma from not knowing who we are, from forgetting ourselves, from being or feeling separated from our true self, our authentic, true heart and soul. Okay, so clearing all of this out here now. <laughs> okay, and also to dissolve and resolve anywhere our body, our mind, our tongue, our speech, our words, our actions, voice, deeds, our energy bodies and fields, heart and soul are not our own. 
right? And the trauma that we're holding from all times, this has been true for us, all trauma from all times of experiencing this in all lifetimes, timelines, realities, and dimensions. Okay, so clearing all of that out now. And also using these tools to mark all lessons for learning or evolving in these ways uh, from these types of patterns uh, downloaded and complete now. Okay, send divine love and light. Create or change it. Good. Those were some really deep, that was some deep clearing happening there. So we're going to run three healing tools that are going to take all of this further and deeper. And the first one is called Free Will Universe. So we're going to call this in now, and then I'll give you guys the description of this. So in Divine Love and Light, running Free Will Universe now. Could you change it? This is disconnecting us from anywhere we've experienced soul hijacking, clearing the trauma from these experiences, freeing the trapped aspects of our soul. This is also disconnecting us from anywhere reincarnation has been a trapping system, anywhere the system has been used to enslave us, to drain our light, to drain our power, returning back that power that has been hijacked. This is also healing the mother wound and dissolving distortions within the mother template, the father template, the God template, and the inner child template. This is also working with walk-in experiences, bringing in deep healing, clearing, and trauma from these experiences, and bringing in an integration, a grounding, and embodiment of the soul. So this is clearing some really dense energy patterns. So just taking a couple of deep breaths here. And just feeling all of the support of the tools that we've already brought in to work with us today um, with Sacred Light Open, the, the different technologies that are running, the, the healing tools that are supporting the clearing that's happening on all levels. Good. Next, we're going to bring in a healing called the Babylon template healing. This is another tool that goes really deep in clearing these dense energy patterns. So in Divine Love and Light, calling in the Babylon template healing. Can you change it? This is dissolving and resolving. So this is working with some specific um, timelines and specific types of trauma um, that we're, we're really all holding in the human collective. So dissolving and resolving the confusion and trauma from experiences where humanity was separated, divided, enslaved, pitted against each other, and deceived including designs and plans to steal or hijack collective power, knowledge, and understanding, and to control humanity. It's dissolving and resolving the oath vows and contracts created from these experiences and the trauma and belief programming taken on as a result of these experiences. It's also disconnecting us from any organizations that have been created um, to have or evolved into a group control agenda as a way to impose control over people to take away our freedom. It's also clearing trauma from lost knowledge, lost thoughts, loss of personal power or sovereignty, and trauma from not knowing who we are, from forgetting ourselves, and from being or feeling separated from our true self. So again, uh, really dense energy patterns. And one more healing tool, clearing some, some dense patterns. Um, this is the genocide disconnect healing. So divine love and light calling in the genocide disconnect healing now, creator, change it.
Good. This is dissolving and resolving trauma from genocide against the human race on this planet. So all peoples who have experienced this, some of which are, some of these experiences are Hitler with the Jews, genocide in Yugoslavia, Rwanda, Bosnia, all places on this planet where this has occurred throughout time and there's been too many to name. Um, disconnecting from all beings that have worked to destroy any life forms throughout population control or any other destructive means. Dissolves, removes, and clears devices, blinders, masks, smoke screens, implants, all energies designed to keep us deaf, dumb, and blind as humanity or on an individual level. So just allowing yourself to receive this healing. You may even be having some awarenesses of um, lifetimes or any some places that you're holding this in your ancestral line. Just taking a couple of deep breaths here and we're going to bring in some really shiny positive light to fill in these dense places where these are getting cleared. Good. So to wrap this healing up and really bring you back into some positive high frequencies, we're going to call in the golden Christ light activation. It's a sacred light tool here. So calling this in now in divine love and light, creator, change it. So just imagining, envisioning, allowing this beautiful golden Christ light pouring down from above your head. filling every cell of your body, expanding into your energy field, surrounding you, enveloping you in this beautiful golden light. Good, sending this out into your ancestral lines, into all timelines and dimensions where any aspect of you exists. Good. We're going to anchor all of this in. Now, this was a lot, um, a lot of healing in just a short amount of time. We're going to anchor this in with sacred light clothes and divine love and light. Creator, change it. Good. And since this was a lot of healing, a lot of dense work here, we do invite you to repeat this healing as we do with many and most all of the work that we do. Um, this will clear in layers, especially if you're holding a lot of this type of trauma. If you have um, these experiences in your ancestral line or any other soul incarnation, um, so this healing will be available for you to repeat in our Facebook group, Co-Creating Miracles with Kimberly and Alicia. And this is it. This is the healing for today. We'd love to hear how that felt for you guys. You can feel free to share whether you're watching the replay or here with us live. Um, and just a reminder, we're going to be doing this for five more weeks. This is week two of a seven week series every Wednesday um, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. That's 2 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. in the UK. Um, so we hope that we will see you again next week and every week until February, the end of February. Um, so we're doing this until February 28th will be our last week. And there is a, a link um, to add all of these to your calendar. We emailed um, that out if you're in our email communities. It's also in our um, posted in our Facebook group. If you'd like to, if you have not yet done that, you can add these to your calendar so that you will more easily remember. Good. Lots of wonderful shares and comments coming in. Yeah, you're so welcome, everyone. Lots of people feeling lighter <clears throat> that was a lot of dense energy was moving so and then that golden christ light really contributes to that lightness as well but these are core wounds that we hold that are so incredibly 
old, right? They're as old as time itself, really, and, and our experiences. So, um, and they are essential for, uh, you know, we need these high powered multidimensional tools that can go deep and, and, and quickly and uh, ex in an expansive way so that we can, you know, accelerate this ascension journey that we're on. You know, we can't clear from ourselves what we don't have awareness of. So, you know, the, these are all tools that are going to bring you into that next level of self-awareness so that you can go into that next level of healing and clearing what's not true, you know, about who you are, right? And, uh, you know, clearing out limitations so that you can become, you know, more and more in alignment with you know, who you are on that soul level and create a life that reflects that for yourself. So, and, you know, those of you that are practitioners of these tools, you have, you get to do this work for yourself and, in, 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 you know, having these tools at your fingertips, but then you also get to do this incredible work for other, to help other people, right? Come into their next level of awareness and healing uh, and expansion of personal power. So, um, powerful work here, really important work here. Uh, so we're again, just grateful, thankful that you're, you know, that you're here to do this work. You're feeling that you're feeling called to join us for these, which, which, you know, has a lot to say about where you're at on your journey. Um, so that all said though, let's, let's take just a few minutes here. And those of you that would like to stay on, we're going to share a few things about the uh, upcoming retreat and some of the rituals or, or ceremonies um, that are going to be taking place there and where those are because we are beyond excited to share that we were able to book a day it's five hours so really you know with travel and whatnot um it really is a full day of our retreat in tulum um we booked uh, five hours at a uh, sacred uh, cenote um, that is, you know, in the jungle there. Um, it's a whole, it's a private event, all of these hours together for our group. And not only will we be, you know, receiving, you know, being in this, uh, the power, this uh, the vortex of energy that's available to us in this cenote. We'll be sharing more about that uh, as we go too. But um, this is going to be so amplified because we're going to be experiencing within that cenote, this beautiful cave with this, you know, fresh uh, water pool where they divers have found huge chunks of crystal um, in this um, cenote. Um, so they view it or, or, uh, as a crystalline uh, cenote uh, or cave and uh, pool. Um, within this already really amazing, you know, amplified energetic space um, that supports transformation, right? Um, we're going to be experiencing a fire ceremony, a sound healing, and um, a cacao ceremony. And then, of course, we'll also have time to float or swim um, in the cenote itself. So we just... You know, of course, everything perfectly aligned um, to have this day at this place that's a well sought after place, even um, on the celebrity level. So we're super excited that we get to offer this to our group and experience it ourselves, <laughs> Alicia and I too, like we just cannot wait. But we want to talk a little bit just just for a moment, Alicia's going to be sharing some um, videos uh, with you on our screen here oh, already is, as you can tell, I wasn't quite there. So enjoy the videos that are here so you can get that feel. And I'm while she's doing this, I'm going to share a little bit about these ceremonies themselves and sort of the why behind them. What what are the benefits? What is the symbolism? What can we expect to receive from these types of ancient uh, rituals and ceremonies? And we're gonna I'm gonna start by sharing a little bit here about um, the cacao ceremony. It's a beautiful heart opening experience um, is what it offers, uh, deeply rooted in ancient traditions. It's not just a ceremony, it's a sacred ritual where cacao is used as a healing, as healing plant medicine, known as the food of the gods. 
Cacao carries powerful symbolism and offers numerous benefits, making it a cherished element in holistic wellness practices. A few points of symbolism here for cacao ceremony is its heart opening. Uh, cacao is known for its properties to open the heart and allow for a deeper, compassionate, and loving connection with oneself and others. Um, it also is offers transformation and renewal. So participants often use these ceremonies as a moment to release old patterns, wounds, or negative emotions, inviting in transformation and renewal. It also symbolizes and offers connection and unity. Cacao ceremonies are often communal, which they will be uh, in our experience here, symbolizing unity and connection. And they remind us of our shared humanity and the deep bonds that link us to each other and the earth. And also, they are amazing for intention setting. Ingesting cacao in a uh, ceremonial context is about setting intentions for healing, clarity, or personal growth. The ceremony creates a sacred space for these intentions to be nurtured and manifested. And, you know, uh, benefits also, that emotional healing component of cacao, it's known to uh, release dopamine and endorphins in the brain, which can elevate mood and reduce depression. That heart opening quality of cacao also aids in emotional release and healing. Another benefit is enhanced creativity and focus. Cacao can increase blood flow to the brain, aiding in focus, creativity, and problem solving skills. And also spiritual growth. Um, Another benefit is the introspective quality of cacao, of the cacao ceremony. It can deepen your spiritual practice, allowing for profound meditative experiences and insights, um, as well as physical health, right? Cacao is packed with antioxidants, magnesium, and other beneficial compounds that can improve heart health and even reduce inflammation. So participating in cacao ceremony is about so much more than just enjoying the taste of chocolate, right? It's a holistic experience that nurtures the body, heart, and soul and invites you on an inward journey, right? Uh, embracing the wisdom of ancient, ancient traditions and opening yourself to the transformative power of this sacred plant medicine, okay? And then sound healing so I, you know i think sound healing you know many of you are so you know this is a very beloved um uh, ceremony and practice of so many of you already i'll just speak to this for a moment here but sound healing is is profound and and a transformative practice that's really been used for centuries across various cultures for its therapeutic and spiritual benefits it's a form of energy healing that uses different aspects of sound to improve physical and emotional health and well-being. So there is rich symbolism and myriads of benefits of this harmonious practice. Sound healing is based on the principle that everything in the universe, including our own bodies, is in a state of vibration. Different sounds and frequencies symbolize the harmonizing of these vibrations, promoting balance and alignment within the body and mind. We use it for that inner journey and meditations, fabulous for this. The sounds and vibrations act as a guide for deep meditation, introspection, symbolizing that journey inward towards the self, encouraging introspection, facilitating personal growth and enlightenment, universal connection is another part of the experience a sound healing offers. Often using instruments or vocals that are considered sacred and are believed to symbolize the connection between the individual and the universal and earthly and the divine. They are clearing, they are cleansing, the resonance and frequency of sound healing instruments symbolize the clearing of blockages and the removal of negative energy, promoting a flow of positive energy and healing. So there's many benefits, reducing stress and anxiety, promoting deep relaxation and better sleep, balancing energy centers, so chakras and subtle bodies, um, facilitating emotional release and encouraging physical healing. So, so many um, benefits there as you are immersed in the healing waves of sound. Mm hmm. And there's a question here. When when are we going? And that is um, April 11th through the 16th in Tulum. And um, there, the sound on those videos are is really beautiful, but I wasn't um, 
I wasn't sharing it because you were talking. So I could share a quick, oh, a quick, another quick one. Okay. Um, let me change my speaker here. Um, let me just share. Let's see, I think this one is quicker. And um, we have the full day booked in this place. Yeah. Um, They're also going to be uh, serving us a curated lunch as well. So really oh, could be having lunch there. That was the, I have the, uh, the resort video up here too, but let's, okay, that was the resort video. I think this one has good sound. Um, here we go. Oh, dang it. I still in my AirPods. Let me take these out. Hold on. Hold one moment. <laughs> Un momento. <laughs> there we go. So we get to float here and swim in this cenote um, after the sound healing. And they use all different kinds of instruments, including crystal bowls. Sound healing is really one of our favorite forms of healing. Um, As you can and see, I, I can't wait to spend the day here. You can see behind us, right? We, all, we have our crystal bowls uh, here. So um, yeah, and also that cenote, um, the water is bigger than it looks there too, just so you know, in that video, um, just absolutely beautiful, but let's just share really quickly about the fire ceremony as well. Um, because, you know, all of these ceremonies that we're going to be experiencing, you know, on the sacred land, um, within this, uh, cenote are, you know, incredible also ways of connecting to ancient, the ancient peoples, the Mayans, the peoples of the Yucatan Peninsula, um, all of them. And, and for us, as we know here, the, those multidimensional aspects of our being, for us, that also means connecting deeply to those ancient parts of ourselves. And that's going to connect us and um, activate within us ancient, you know, power really sacred personal sovereign power um you know activating codes cellular memories of ourselves um in um as you know part of these collective ancestral peoples um and that's also so accessible um in these vortexes uh, vortices on the land here so the fire ceremony also is was literally, you know, in the traditions of the Mayans and the ancient peoples of the Yucatan Peninsula, fire cer ceremonies held a profound and sacred place in their spiritual and cultural practices. They weren't just rituals. They were powerful means of connecting with the divine, the natural elements and the community. So fire for the Mayans was much more than a source of warmth or light. It was a sacred element representing the sun and embodying the divine spark of creation. Through fire ceremonies, the Mayans sought to align themselves with the cosmic rhythms and the natural forces, invoking blessings, fertility, and balance. So we're not looking to invoke fertility. We can look at that fertility as a representation of creation, right? Our ability to create in our lives. And during these ceremonies, Mayan priests known as shamans or day keepers would call upon the spirits and the gods offering prayers and incense and sacrifices. And the act of burning these offerings was deeply symbolic, uh, believed to transform the material offerings into a spiritual essence, ascending a smoke into the heavens, carrying the prayers and the intentions of the participants into the divine realms. So fire ceremonies were an integral uh, part of Mayan life, uh, marking important calendar cycles, life transitions, community gatherings. They were moments of renewal and purification where individuals could release their fears, their doubts, their negative energies into the fire, seeking transformation and healing. So the ancient wisdom of the Mayans teaches us about the interconnectedness really of all of life, right? And the power of intention and gratitude. So this is why 
this is something that is, you know, that we have chosen to make a part of our experience for our group at the retreat and in this special place. So Yes. And this is going to be a whole day that we get to spend there. We're going to have lunch there. I think you mentioned yeah, um, five hours in total, five, five hours or so. Yeah. And there's a, there's a few people mentioning is, isn't Eric's workshop happening. I got to go. Uh, <laughs> a couple of people are, are commenting that I'm actually hosting um, a class that our graphic designer, Eric, is teaching in two minutes. So I could sit here and talk about this experience in this retreat all day. Um, but I actually have to hop off because I have to start his his meeting class. I, I volunteered to host that for him on Zoom to make it easier for him. Um, so I dropped the, the retreat link in the chat. Um, but if you're watching the replay and you're not seeing that link, you can just go to cocreatingmiracle.com. And a couple of you guys have um, asked about me in private messages about the retreat too here on Zoom. I answered you, but we'd love to talk to you if you have questions about it. Mm -hmm. So you can message either one of us or email hello at cocreatingmiracle.com. Um, we do have, it's a very limited amount of spots because we've rented out the whole re retreat center, Kabaloom, which we'll share a little bit more about next week. Um, and so it's a very finite amount of spots that we have. So if you are interested, reach out and we'd love to chat with you about it. Um, and I'll see a lot of you guys in Eric's workshop and we'll see you all next Wednesday, same time, same place. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, there's an early registration that's ending January 31st. So it's only like oh, that's next week. Oh. Yeah. Um, we didn't get to talk about that, but that's a. That's a program that um, you get as a bonus um, if you sign up within the next week for the retreat. Yes. You can always email us and ask us more about that. And also, I think you might be able to read about it also on the Tulum Retreat registration page. So, yes. Sorry to cut this short. Um, yeah. I'll see a lot of you guys in Eric's workshop. And we'll see you all hopefully again next week. Next week. Much love. Bye to all. Bye, everyone.